Welcome to Eye on the Craft. Today I want to make an organizer using, again, Dollar Tree products. I saw this on um, Life 50 and Beyond. Um, and if I massacred that, I'm sorry, I will put it in the description box. But she has a lot of organizers done with Dollar Tree products that are extremely useful. I actually replaced a full tabletop organizer with two of her organizers that I hung on my wall and it cleared up an entire corner of a work table. So um, her ideas are fantastic. Um, this one is uh, one where I'm going to use uh, hanging from my uh, paint cart and uh, it's going to hold the all the metallic and pearl paints that I like to have separate and um, with four of these is more than enough I can fit actually about 15 of the um, paint bottles, the regular paint bottles. So Josie, uh, once again, I'm doing one of your organizers and um, I will definitely put her information. Check her out. She's got just absolutely amazing ideas on organizing and using Dollar Tree products. Um, let me put you a little bit further back. So it really is worth checking out. Okay, so today I'm going to be using two cooling racks. By the way, if your Dollar Tree still has the two in a pack, grab them because I'm telling you right now, they're gonna start coming one, a single one. One single one will be a dollar. So grab them now. I actually grabbed uh, three packs when I was there. So uh, you can't beat 50 cents each when you're going to have to pay one dollar each. So you need two of those. You need the thin, the smaller thin uh, zip ties. Uh, Dollar Tree has the big packs, of the really of the really long ones. Those are a little too thick because these uh, drawer organizers for desks, the metal ones, the mesh, uh, it'll be hard to put the large ones in through here. So you need the thin ones, uh, the smaller ones. Now, I had to buy two packs of mixed to get 50 because all I found was... Uh, three color pack black red and white and um, they only had 25 white and um, I wanted more so anyway I bought two packs so you need that and you need four of these if you're going to use two racks four and I need four if you're going to make it longer obviously you keep multiplying but this is what you need Okay, so first thing we do is align the little feet, I guess you call it. You can call it the little feet. And I've got this crooked. Make sure they're straight. Okay. Right here. I either have these upside down or something is crooked here. So let me fix this here. Make sure that they're straight. Mine, I had to sand a little bit of that oxidase, oxidation, oxidization. I don't know. It was oxidizing in some spots. So I had to do a little bit of um, sanding. 
Okay. I'm going to try this the other way. Maybe better. Yes, it is much better. Okay, so that works. So now I've got them one on top of the other. And according to Josie, we start in the middle. So we are going to tie these together. And I put it in backwards. Uh, ties have a specific way that they have to go in. Otherwise, they don't hook on. There we go. And you'll know if it's right because one, you, it's very smooth when it goes in and the other one makes a, a little noise like a zipper. All right, let's make sure these are aligned. I'll leave it a little loose and tie it later. Let me get a few of these out. Okay. Same thing. Middle first, she always says. Right, where's the maybe here? Like this. Tighten it up. Yeah, see, you got to make sure that they're straight. I, right there, mine just went wiggy wacky. Uh, all right, nice and tight. And I did them across. And now I'm going to do them um, right here together. I'm going to put two here and two here. Okay, now here they are. Let me put you a little closer. There are the four, actually six, two in the middle, and then the other four, just to keep them together. Okay, now another thing that she does is she puts hot glue on them because as you can see, they move, okay? So once you have them where you want them and put them to the back because your trays are going to be here and you don't want to bump into that. So you put them to the back, okay? And line them up. And put some hot glue just so they don't move around and stay put. Okay. All right. Now. She says, put your first one in the middle. And she also recommends to do a dry run. So the middle is there. Do one at the bottom, one at the top. 
So then I want it all at the very, very top. So I'll put it a little bit further down and one in here. Now, the test are these little guys because that's what this is for. So, oh, that's not going to work. That is too close. Very little clearance. I may not be able to have four. It may have to be three. But this one at the very bottom and this one in the middle. And then, of course, that there. That may be how it goes. And this one and this one there. Now, if I put at the very, very bottom. Maybe. We'll see. For now, I'm putting three. I mean, if I put it further up and this one further up, but then the idea of having the middle one here is to give it stability at the seam. And then this would be visible. This covers it. So if I put one there, One there. Right? One here. How many is that? This would work. And then we'll play around with the very, very bottom to see if I can, and it'll be kind of wobbly, but we'll see. We'll see. I mean, right now, if I can fit 15 in one tray, which doesn't make sense. Yep, it is. It is 15. I just counted them. Okay. All right. Well, let's start with the middle and see where that takes us. Okay. So the first thing that she always warns, very smart. This has a seam. You want to put that towards the back. So we're going to put that towards the back, make sure it's in the middle. Okay. And we are going to put in our and open here. I'm going to move this. I'm just watching the camera, making sure that you can see what I'm doing. Let's do it this way. All right. There. Make sure that, you know, on the sides, each finger in there. And do that. Hoping I'm doing this right, Josie. And I thought of my cart, my paint cart is white. And it's one of those Michael's three-tier cards on wheels that is absolutely fantastic. Um, I love it. And um, it's white. And I got it because I wanted it neutral. I wanted something neutral in my space because I wasn't sure um, how long I'm going to be in love with um, the hot pink. So, you never know. My favorite color is purple. So, I, you know, Dollar Tree will come out with all those beautiful baskets and organizers in beautiful purple like they did before. And I'll be able to get my hands on them before they're done. And I'll change everything to purple. I may do that because... That's my favorite color. All right, so I'm gonna be putting these again to the back. Okay. There to the back. And see, it still moves around. Remember, that's why we put, we put hot glue on it. And now I just wanna keep it where, where it's gonna live eventually. 
there. Now, I am going to go through here and make sure you can see this. I'm going to go through the middle here. And, okay, where's the soft thing? Let me see. Here we go. And I, I just want to make sure that this is safe. And she did a good job at explaining why this was important. Um, you really should go, if you love, like, putting around with organization stuff. And, like, I organize my stuff at, at least two times a month. Um, it's just fun to do. But um, if you're into that... And I did this wrong. If you're into that, go over to, to her channel. Her name is Josie, and she does its um, Life After 50 and Beyond. And it is unbelievably fun to, to see her, um, her projects and, and the things she does. And she comes up with the coolest things, all with... Uh, Dollar Tree baskets and trays and stuff. So it's it's a lot of fun. And her explanations are fantastic. And she's really cool. Like, there there's one that I'm going to try, which is a, uh, uh, like a caddy, like a, with, with a holder and everything. And you just kind of pick it up and go. And uh, I had questions, you know, I had questions about it. And she answered uh, she answered all my questions and explained everything. It's just, you know, she's, she's really, really good at what she does. All right. For some reason, this little guy does not want, there we go. Now we got it. And we got to tighten that one. And we got to tighten that one. And I'm going to put one on each end. There is our first one. Okay. I don't know what that is, but okay. another one up here. And I know I need another one here. Here are the three that I've got 
So four. This looks a little tight, so I may have to take that one out um, because it needed to go much higher. So I'm going to take this one out, put it back, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. This is the shelf that I screwed up and I fixed it and there it is. So now I have one, two, and three shelves. Um, I'm thinking that I do, I do want the fourth. So I am going to add one all the way at the bottom down here. It's going to be kind of wobbly. I'm not sure. Because even doing one, let's say that I do the one there, I don't know. This is not going to fit. But if I do it at the bottom, then we're good. So I'm going to give it a try. Okay. So here it is. I don't know if you can actually see it from there. But there it is. The bottom one is a little floppy, but I'm hoping that the side of the cart that it's going to be against will keep it straight. But I did need the fourth one and I needed the space to get the bottles in and out. Um, obviously, this had to be in the middle and I put it a little higher than it's supposed to be. But like I said, I really don't care to be able to see these these attachments. I just needed to be uh, useful and I needed the four. Okay, so now I am putting some of this felt um, ribbon that I found at Dollar Tree. And um, I thought it was really cute. It's hot pink, which is perfect for my craft room. And I'm just going to edge it like this on every basket or tray. Okay, so we're just going to do this, basically. Okay, now for these four, one of these is enough. Um, it's only five feet. That's the only thing about the ribbon at Dollar Tree. It's, um, it's very short. You don't get a lot. But this is five feet. And you have this left over when you're done. So you got to get it right. And there it is with the ribbon. And there it is. And ready to hang, which I will hang with these two S hooks off the side. Okay? much for watching and go check out uh, Life at 50 and Beyond. Uh, you're going to enjoy her organization ideas and her projects are pretty easy to do and she gives fantastic instructions. Um, the cool thing about Josie is if you have questions about anything, send her a mail, an email, send her a direct message, comment on it and ask a question she explains everything. She's fantastic. So give it a try. All right. So thank you for watching. I will see you next time. And in the meantime, keep your eye on the craft. Bye.